Hut! My country practice had kept me out of town for several months. It was with anticipation and excitement, in equal measure, that I arrived at my old friend's residence. Holmes' place was always full of the queerest characters. Oh, hello. No, thank you. <clears throat> As I'd come to expect, I found Sherlock Holmes, the world's greatest detective, in an altered <laughs> state of mind. I feared Holmes had lapsed into one of his many addictions. Uppers, downers, knockers, joggers. Holmes had done them all. <laughs> And that, my Simeon friend, will get you into any casino in Europe. Thanks, Holmes. Ah, Watson, just in time. This is the chairman of the British Museum, Sir Francis Ladygarden. Our prize exhibit, the Turkish Spoon, has been stolen by a Chinaman, I'll wager. But, Holmes, that's an outrageous assumption. On the contrary, my dear Watson, our cousins in the Orient eat their food with sticks. No! And therefore, the spoon is their most highly prized possession. Once again, my well-travelled friend had amazed us with his deductive powers. Sticks, spoons, Chinamen. What could it all mean? Watson, there's no time to waste. We are taking a cab to the docks. Business? Pleasure. <laughs> Hate. <laughs> <laughs>